Hi Aquarius, welcome back. This is going to be your December 23 and 24 reading for Aquarius, Sun, Rising, Venus, and the North Pole. Okay. For Aquarius. Travel. Let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony. May divine order arrange and handle every detail. I'll be guided easily and follow the leads as they are shown. Okay, Aquarius. And your overall energy is improvement. So improving upon something. When you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnificence. Unfold my true and radiant self, dear Lord. Okay. So let's see what the messages are for you, Aquarius. Your energy, the five of swords, is at the bottom of the deck. That is your energy. Okay. So let's see. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, December 23 and 24. Aquarius, December 23 and 24. Aquarius, the Nine of Pentacles, single and self sufficient. You could be traveling, doing your thing, you're the hermit Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a double, a, a double Virgo, or you could be the Virgo or something like that. Yeah, the world card sticking out in the reverse that you don't want to end a cycle with. There's something that's not closing out here. Okay, you want to apologize. You want to say something to Aquarius, but I feel like somebody has walked away. Yeah, they have completely freed themselves from the situation that you have. This could be traveling, traveling toward this person. You could have thoughts of traveling. Yeah, I'm getting you really miss someone. Yeah, I knew it. The Six of Swords wanting to move forward, but there could be delays here. Something about paperwork or a lie or something or, or something here. Okay, but we have Virgo energy here, very, very heavy. So empowerment, all right, and travel. We have the Two of Wands, yeah. All right, so you could be planning, yeah, the temperate Sagittarius and Virgo energy, all right? So you could definitely be planning or waiting to move something forward here, take a trip. You're planning something patiently. Okay, you really look at cro crossing all your I's and dotting your T's here. I'm also getting like, um, yeah, so you're going to, you're going to, you're planning on how to communicate, reach out to someone, say something to someone. You want somebody to trust you. You have the death card that tr or trust that you've changed. You have the four of wands, nine of swords, that you want this relationship, this commitment, that you've had time to think about things here. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Sagittarius. Yeah, we have the Three of Swords, okay. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles, okay. So I feel like someone's rushing back in here. Someone's very attracted to you. They've done a lot of thinking here, a lot of time. A lot of time has been spent thinking, maybe even traveling, okay. But I feel like the time apart from you has really empowered somebody to want to change. Yeah, the Five of Cups and want to come towards you. Somebody does not want a cycle to end here with you, or this is you. Sagittarius Virgo energy. I feel like someone's very attracted to you. Someone's very excited about coming towards you. Someone's very determined as well. But I feel like, um, yeah, something could be a bit of a struggle here because I feel like in the past there were lies or someone's thinking about a lie or a third party situation, you have the four of cups and the devil. You just have no interest in this toxicity, this bullshit. Yeah, you don't care. You're, you're turning your back on this. I just feel like something is not. Yeah, the seven of wands. I'm getting this a no. A fuck no and a hell no. All right. You're planning for the future or you're planning for something more. 
Okay, you want something different or you want to plan for something more here. This, this is not... Yeah, the Seven of Swords and the Three of Cups and the Tower. I feel like somebody something blew up in somebody's face. A third-party situation, a lie, or whatever the fuck this is. All right? It backfired. I feel like somebody's realizing how passionate they are for you after, after time has come has maybe seven months, seven weeks, whatever has went by. Somebody hasn't been able to get you off of their mind. Yeah, the five of wands. I just feel like you have totally, yeah, yeah, it's over for you. And you're at peace about this. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what, what's the nine of pentacles? And I kind of feel like that's what bothers somebody is the fact that you're at peace, that you don't give a fuck. Yeah, that you're unbothered. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. That you're supported. You're moving on with your life. Yeah, you're free. Somebody, I, I just feel like a situation where a cycle isn't over. Somebody does not want to close something out for you. And somebody's also looking at you very closely here. What you wear. Maybe they want to know if you wear designer. Somebody's just very interested in what you wear. How your clothes fit. They watch you. All right, yeah. I feel like somebody else, yeah, the Ten of Wands, the Empress, Page of Swords, Hangman, and the Knight of Swords, yeah. Someone's very passionate about you, but they're also very hateful. Yeah, I'm gonna, you're going to reject this person. All right. There's a cycle that's not closing out. I feel like somebody's still coming in. I, I don't know. This is just giving me it's not going to work. Yeah, the nine of swords came, man. I feel like you're going to leave somebody on bread. Yeah, someone's really watching you here. Yeah, the ten of wands. So somebody is, yeah, very burdened here and very much stressed out. Yeah, the nine of swords about a situation or this delay or that you're sitting here. You're, you're, you're going to be good. Somebody else is struggling here. I feel like somebody's really thinking about how patient you are, how loving you are, maybe how popular you are. Yeah, somebody's having some kind of realization here. This is you. All right. About, uh, yeah, the four of pentacles. Somebody can't seem to let you go here. This is an everyday struggle. Somebody really misses you. They're heartbroken. But I feel like they're also very angry because of the passion that somebody carries for you. They're not able to let go. All right. What's the, um, what's the knight of swords? And you just seem to be over here uh, comfortable. You have the Eight of Swords. Somebody's stuck on you. Somebody is stuck. They can't. And I also feel like somebody suffers from a mental condition. Yeah. It could be a Taurus. You have the Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords. Somebody has to play this mind game. They can't. Somebody's stuck on you, but they're very attracted to you. And that also frustrates them. Maybe you're rejecting them for sex or you're holding off or you, and, and they're, they say things or they do things to make you feel some kind of way or they, whatever the fuck this is. I don't know. Or this is you. I feel like somebody's very, um, yeah, empowerment. So I feel like somebody's like jealous of how empowered you are with your empowerment here at the bottom of the deck. But we also have travel. Maybe you travel, yeah, the full car, your free spirit, you, you you move, you you can move on, you can you can release yourself and detach from a situation freely. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you go with the flow. And somebody, yeah, the fool car, you're successful, you're supported, you go with the flow, you do your fucking thing. And, and somebody else is stressed out or they're worried, they have anxiety, they're stuck or they're stuck on you. They're very attracted to you. So somebody says hurtful things, they spaz out, they act crazy, but then they think about you, they miss you, they want to they wanna come back towards you, they want to they wanna be in your energy. Okay, because somebody sees you as very wise, also very enlightening, yeah, very inspiring with the star card, Aquarius. 
Virgo, Sagittarius energy here. Heavy Aquarius. But it could be any sign. But I'm just saying, somebody, that they really feel like you. Yeah, you really compel somebody to want to change. But I just feel like somebody's not going to. I feel like somebody really, really wants to. What, what's the Five of Cups, Ten of Wands? Yeah, this person from your past. They have repeat, repeated thoughts about you. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. So somebody's in major debt here. Somebody could owe several people money. Somebody's very complacent. Yeah, addictions. Somebody doesn't want to change. Somebody doesn't want to heal these addictions. They're in debt. They're stressed out. They're stuck. They're on. They're in a loop. Things just keep. I don't know. Happening for someone. I feel like somebody's losing a lot of money. Somebody's in debt. Somebody could be pretending to be this person that's got money and they're good and everything is straight, but I don't I don't feel like that's really happening here. Yeah. So I feel like somebody is like, yeah, you blocked someone. You pulled your energy away. You no longer want to deal. Somebody wants to come towards you. They need your energy. They love your energy. You're very temperance. You're very you're also very patient. You're independent. You're self-sufficient. You're very balanced. Maybe you're very giving and loving, free spirited, very popular, inspiring. You have the four of wands, very stable. You could have a beautiful home, maybe a beautiful voice, yeah. Yeah, the sun card, you're very happy. Opportunities come towards you. Somebody sees that. I feel like somebody's like... They're going through some, something, yeah, the death. Yeah, the death, ten of swords, and the five. So I feel like something ended abruptly here for someone. Someone's having to move on. That could be stressful. You have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse with the Five of Pentacles. Somebody is very stressed out. They're in a lot of fucking debt and very, very much weighed down. I just feel like a repeating of cycles with the World card in the reverse. They the source. Somebody's stuck. Yeah, someone's having... Yeah, this is a job. A job is ending abruptly. It's just dead and done. Somebody could be getting fired or... It's just the end of something here. The end of a contract. But I feel like somebody, they took this job. It, it may not even been a, a very good paying job, but they took this in hopes that, I don't know. Yeah, the five of swords hang, man. And the page of swords, empress, and the three of one. And this person watch, watches you and they see that you're comfortable, that you're respected, that you're a respected person, you're wholesome, you're loving, you're caring, you're stable, you're balanced. I feel like somebody's really struggling in their life here, yeah. I feel like something seems to be going really slow here or it could be at a, a full, full stagnation. Completely stagnant here. And I feel like somebody... It, just be careful with the energy you have around you. Because somebody definitely could be a bit jealous here. About what this is that you have. Yeah, the tower card. I just feel like something... Somebody's going through a tower. They're having to move on. They're not sure where they're going to go. What they're going to do. Somebody could be even homeless here. But I, do, I feel like it's due to addictions or somebody not wanting to change. They're complacent. They're kind of stuck in this energy. I just feel like somebody's taking it really hard. Lo having to move away from somebody or losing this money or this job. Yeah, there could be addictions, maybe drinking, third parties. I feel like, yeah. I feel like somebody kind of goes through a pattern, a pattern of just like meeting people and having this energy and then kind of, I don't know. Yeah, somebody meets people or several people. They play mind games. They try to get into people's head or use them in some way. <sighs> yeah. 
very flighty, flighty, flighty energy. Okay, yeah. What's the Six of Wands and the Star? Queen of Suns, the uh, the Queen of Swords, the Sun, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups with the Page of Wands. So Leo energy, Aquarius, or whoever it could be, okay? We have Leo and Aquarius here very heavily. But you could be speaking at some kind of seminar here. You could be doing your thing here. This could be some kind of contract or, or good news about money. Something that makes you very happy here. I'm getting success and recognition, stardom and fame, support. Six of Pentacles, okay? We have the Six of Swords here as well and the Six of Wands. So somebody's struggling in their life. Maybe you're not. Somebody struggles with addictions. They struggle with getting balance. What's the devil card? Okay, they struggle just with everything. They're stuck. Somebody's stuck in a lot of debt here too. Somebody has got them in, got themselves in a lot of debt that they're not able to get out of. And I'm getting like, yeah, the judgment. Somebody's really being judged for their, their behavior here, the things that they do, the way that they choose to live. Somebody's being called to change their life, to go through some kind of transformation here. I feel like there's a real worry about money, what somebody's going to do next, how they're going to live. Excuse me, I thought I burned. I feel like this is somebody, yeah, the justice. I feel like this is somebody that just kind of kind of goes through different situations, meeting different people for different reasons. Um, just to kind of, what's the devil card? I don't know. But with the judgment, this could be somebody that wants to come back in from the past and apologize, offer you this cup, this love, do something very generous with you, for you, maybe be very honest. This is somebody that wants to fight for you. Yeah, somebody sees your worth or they know your worth. Or yeah, the Ten of Cups. Okay. I'm getting, I'm just getting like somebody's looking at you and they're seeing how free and unencumbered that you are. How inspiring you are, independent and beautiful. Yeah, the high priestess. And they want to be a part of that. Yeah, the eight of cups and the knight of cups. I feel like once again, somebody's reconciling or apologizing or saying whatever this is. I'm kidding, you just don't care. You don't want to hear it. Yeah, the king of wands and the magician in reverse. Somebody, uh, Aries, possibly. Somebody, or Scorpio, Capricorn, Happy Scorpio, Aries, and or a Capricorn could be a Sagittarius, an Aquarius, a, a Leo, a Pisces, a Virgo, or a Cancer. But I just feel like somebody's a manipulator and a liar, and they're very sexually attracted to you. Somebody really wants to have sex with you. They really want to, like, maybe even impregnate you. Yeah, somebody... I just feel like you need to be careful of this energy with the magician in reverse. Somebody's very grimy. They could even dabble in some kind of shit here. I feel like somebody try to put you in debt or slow you down or, or something like that. You need to be careful of what you're dealing with. Yeah, the page of swords, okay? And they watch you heavily. Yeah, somebody does things here, but I feel like somebody's suffering in their life and they watch you. Somebody wants to be a part of your energy because of your success and what you do. Because somebody's in debt, they're struggling. And you give this person peace, okay? They can't get you off their mind. And yeah, the Ace of Swords. So you have somebody wanting to come back in. Um, yeah, the Page of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. So somebody's grown up here. They want to they wanna reconcile. They want to offer you something here. Someone's going to reach out or 
or something, or I'm getting like a small business. I'm getting something that really grows, a really innovative idea where you bring in a lot of money here. Something that was a page of pinnacles, a, a small business, maybe even an LLC is going to turn into something even bigger here. Yeah, this could be a contract or this could be going into business with someone. Yeah. So that's for some of you here. All right. But I feel like you're feeling empowered. You're, you're taking your, you could be traveling. You're just doing your thing here. Opportunities, Ace of Pentacles is here. Okay. Opportunities coming in, money, the opportunity to do your thing. Focus on your work here. Focus on what you're doing. I'm getting that's what you are. I feel like somebody, somebody's lost a job. They're lost in life. They're complacent. They're bored. I feel like somebody doesn't have, they have these, I don't know. What's the Ace of Wands? Somebody really wants to, what's the Ace of Wands? I feel like somebody really wants sex with you. You have the justice and the strength card. Yeah, but you're like, no. So that frustrates somebody too. Maybe you're not into sex or I'm hearing like blue balls or I don't know. Maybe you're not into sex or you maybe you're very attracted or, you, or somebody has to resist you because I feel like somebody really wants to like, yeah, Libra energy, Leo energy. They really, yeah, very compelling. Yeah, because you're really attractive, very boss-like. Somebody's really attracted to you, but I'm getting you're not giving it up. You're like, no. You're, are you leaving somebody on red or whatever? You're like, nah. All right. Or they, they're they like, nah. All right. But I feel like somebody wants to come around, but I feel like they're a manipulator, a liar, an opportunist. Somebody only wants to come around because you're doing well. You're popular. I'm not, I'm not seeing a, a lot of love here. I feel like somebody wants to be with you because you're popular, you're doing well, you're you're financially very stable, nine of pentacles, independent, self-sufficient. Okay, oh, the king of pentacles as well. Yeah, that, this is why somebody wants to be around. They're burdened, they're unstable, they keep losing jobs or shit keep ending for them. And they kind of want to, yeah, the seven of swords. Just be careful with what you keep around you. Two, 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 as I said that. So that those are your messages, Aquarius. And I'll see you guys in the next one.